There's a lot of stuff I didn't like about being a soldier, but I loved being a medic. Hey, find the chest, you. Boss, I got entrance wound on right, uh, left side. Exit. What I love most is that I had my place within the tribe. I had a very specific mission. And if you don't have your shit together when you come back, and a lot of people don't, then you could fall apart. This is where I started realizing there was a problem was with the slowdown and pace and with the lack of mission, so to speak, I, that suddenly gave me a lot of time to think and reflect that I didn't have before. Th these feelings that I had like just covered up, then they started coming out and spilling over. I found myself really alone. How do you feel about being out here, Sarkron? You know, it feels real good. Yeah? I'm, I'm glad I'm doing great things to my country helping the um, Afghan people and their sorry ass country, building it better, um, keeping the Taliban away. Even though you spend time away from your family? How about you, son B? How do you feel about being here? This place, man. <laughs> and the people. Let's go over. You lost Hawkman and Johnny. He scoots all the way. They were, they were, um, they were. You better find a happy. Dude, forget it. You're never gonna get that friendship back. You're never gonna get that sense of tribe and like that manly feeling of like your phalanx. These are your guys to your left and your right. You ain't never gonna get that back because there's nothing more intense than being stuck in the middle of nowhere with people surrounding you. Like you're basically Alamo the hell out in the middle of nowhere. Right Rick, what's your outlook on our deployment, bro? I hate this place. I wish it burned the hell. And these are the guys that are gonna keep you alive. You ain't never getting that feeling back. Suddenly you're back here and you're surrounded by all these bitch ass civilians complaining about their matcha tea being fed up. Everybody around me felt useless and I felt useless to them, so like I didn't want anything to do with anything. You have the blinders on. It's like when you're in a, in a relationship, but you're in a relationship with yourself. And it's hard letting go of habits, even bad habits. And one of the best bad habits that everybody just loves to latch onto is isolation. Unfortunately, a lot of them, by the time they realize what they've done to themselves, it's too late. It's too late, they end up with a gun in their mouth. The Department of Veterans Affairs estimates 22 veterans commit suicide every day. 22 military veterans. 22 veterans. 22 a day. Let's see, how did I find out about Silky's hikes? You'll see a lot of muscle and some interesting sights, but the whole point is to make each other laugh. The Reverend Warriors did their first story with me last month. They'll just be wearing their Silkies, their combat boots, and a smile. I challenge you, Donald Trump, to join us as we hike in New York City, your city. Uh, if I could be honest, I thought it was just a bunch of Marines peacocking. In the clips that I saw, it was just a bunch of like shredded dudes out there with these silkies like hugging on their d and I was like, okay, I know what this is. But surprisingly enough, um, the more time I spent seeing stuff online and then when I actually went to one, basically it was a whole a buffet of samples of everybody that's ever been in the armed forces from every branch, every MOS. They were all there and they were all pretty much united around the same fraternity or brotherhood or whatever the f you want to call it. I never really liked Marines until the Silkies hikes. Turns out that they're actually pretty good <laughs> and, uh, and some of them can actually even read, which is crazy. Oh man, it was fun. First of all, you're out there, you're getting some sun because you're out of your cave. Second of all, you don't have to for like those couple hours or those few hours that you're there, you don't have to worry about your bills, your wife, or nothing else. Just that all stays home, get some beer in your system, fist bump a bunch of bros, and along the way you can peacock for civilians. Everybody loves that. I'm fat as hell, I love peacocking for civilians. I know everybody's secretly like, oh no, I'm a humble American soldier. What? No, f you. You like to wear the uniform and you like how the uniform makes you feel. You like the feeling of being in a march. Th that feeling of like, there's a cause and there's a community and there's like all these dudes behind me and you feel like you're part of a family. And that is a feeling that a lot of people lose when they leave the military. Like they suddenly don't have their tribe. They don't have their brothers or they feel they don't. 
you know, they feel they don't. But anyway, it, for that one instance, a couple times a year, you can have that. Your family needs to accept that that kid they put on the bus or on the taxi or whatever, like that kid is not coming back, he's gone. And you need to accept that that kid is gone too. There's a new you, there's a new world, and there's a whole new army, no pun intended, of people out there who've been in the same shoes. They, they fill the same role and they understand where you're coming from. They're all my guys. Marines, Coast Guard, Air Force, Navy, whatever. They're fellow veterans. I don't think physicality should be an impediment to anybody. Even uh, on our first hike, we had a, a veteran there that was in a wheelchair. When he needed a push, we gave him a push. When he needed us to carry him across the sand, we did that. Um, we're, we're there to like enable anybody and, anybody and everybody to make this hike. Uh, one of the biggest changes that these hikes have done for me is one, they give me something to look forward to. Like I'm already looking forward to the next one. You know, it, it's, it's small things and yet they're so big. It really is small and yet so impactful. It really has become a cause. It's given me a cause. And I haven't had that in a long time. And it's necessary and I think a lot of people out there could do with it. So, Reverend Warriors brings veterans together with humor and camaraderie to prevent veteran suicide. Prevent veteran suicide. I'm gonna go through the rules. This is all based on our code of conduct. The reason I'm reading the rules is because y'all mother need rules. <laughs> a bunch of degenerates out here. A lot of people have a really messed up idea of what veterans are in their brains, and a lot of that is correct, all right? <laughs> <laughs> A Reverend Warriors will be the force that unites the veteran community and drives a healthy culture within its members. Through creative engagements, events, and strong veteran-based support networks, we'll be known as the catalyst for improving the veteran outlook. We'll be the most effective veteran community in the United States. How many people would stop everything and help a brother or sister who calls you up and says, hey, I'm having a bad place, I need help. Yeah. All right, look around, oh, keep your hands up. Look around, <laughs> notice that's everybody, right? You don't ever have to be alone. There's always someone you can call. So call someone, got it? Our Father in Heaven, thank you for humor that can bolster and shield us even in our darkest times. We thank you for the gifts of our brothers and sisters in arms. Thank you for the people standing beside us and around us and everyone who's willing to fight alongside us and use us to be the help that our brother or sister may need in their struggle. And may this hike be used to save the lives of those who've been willing to sacrifice all for others. Amen. 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 Go have fun. This is one of the things that like, I think might actually help some veterans out there. It's like, don't think of it as something that you're doing for yourself. Think about it as something that you're doing for the cause. Okay, because that's how I cross that barrier of going. It's like, okay, I'm doing this to contribute to my community of veterans. Just the fact that you're there is, is a contribution to what they're trying to accomplish. And it's important. By the time the trip is done, you've made a friend for life. Common backgrounds breed common personalities. There was this one moment where we stopped at a pier and like you saw all these flags fluttering and the entire sky was just grayed out with like really fat rain clouds and all these veterans are on the pier and you see like the flags just flying and the, the water, the sun hitting the water in a very special way. Like I don't know, I, after I looked at the footage I was like, yeah, that's an experience worth having. That's an experience worth having. Yeah.